Good, good. <laughs> so guys, um, I know this video has been long awaited and I don't know the name of this clothes, but I know it's for one of my exes. <laughs> if you know you are the name of this clothes, please leave it in the comment section. Even if the relationship was not useful, but at least the clothes was useful. So that's why when you break up, I just wonder if people be trying something, burning so don't do it. In my house, I have so many of my ex clothes. Clothes, so many. Uh, if relationship no work, at least the proceed from the relationship, I can use it in it. So I am working one of my ex's clothes. I don't even remember whose particular one is this. I don't know. But also that like people will say, eh, because it's my ex, so you don't want to use these things and everything. My dear, yeah, 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 just losing things. You see now, I wear wig with it. Check out fine. And today is Sunday. People will be, ah, ah, until you go to church. I know people go to church. They may not show you. Anyways, hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Jerry. So guys, in today's video, this has been long awaited. I know I've promised you guys. I said the clothes is even fine. You see, the clothes is even fine. Okay. Ah, if I now put the um what's it called? Tommy belt and see. My god, I'm a fine shah. One lie. Lie dark. How you wake up with somebody and because of that you betraying the things away. I don't understand. But wear it without your mind and I don't know. I think I remember the ex. We did not date the girl. I just I just took his clothes. I Man, I like wearing guys' clothes because usually I used to wear these clothes in the house to clean. But I don't know, I just like to do it because I feel like that's purple with my hair and everything. What do you guys think? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back and get to my YouTube channel. I beg, let's get serious. Gigi. Gigi. So guys, today we are here to shake another table. <laughs> we are here to shake another table. Make sure you sit down very well. So it's table shaking, you know, table shaking. So I'm talking about twelve things your employers do not care about. <laughs> so outbreaking. You know, before I started this immigration channel, I used to feel like I used to think like. Let me start talking. Especially, in fact, I'll be using UK as my point of view. You know, POV. Point of view, a point of discussion. But anyway, this one is generally whether UK, whether Canada, whether this, whether that, whether anything, whether this, whether it will buy. It's not in Nigeria that they care about this show. So, like I say, once you're outside Africa, your mentality got to change. So, these are 12 things that your employers don't care about. And that's why I keep telling you guys on, I'll be in, on, in, in my community tab chat. Before you give yourself high BP, calm down. I'll do the important thing. So the first one on my list is GPA, a BCGPA. I don't know which of them is correct. Yeah, your CGPA. Your employers do not care about your CGPA. Whether you graduate your first class, second class, third class, last class, it's nobody's business. It did not concern anybody. Coco anybody, man. But then, like I used to say, personal preference. When you find yourself in school, college, or anything, make sure you always try to actually be the best. Because even if your employers do not care about your CGPA or whichever grade you actually graduated with, sometimes it could help you with um, scholarship, with promotion, with um, um, anything. Anything, sha. It's not a waste to drag first, you. Drag first class, you. Don't say, eh, because employers do not care about it. You can have another opportunity that can actually request you to have like a CGPA or something. Maybe they can just use that one to fill that way. It's important to you. Don't go to school and carry last. But in reality, in reality, your employer does not care about your CGPA. So just remove it in your... I've seen some CV, right? So just remove it from your CV. All those people who start their CV, I say they are 4.0, 5.0. It's nobody's business. Even if they have 2.1, it does not concern anybody. In your color, in your color, and that's because they know that classroom experience is different from reality. Have you guys not met some people that will call themselves first class students? And then when you talk to them, you feel like this one, you don't get so, you don't get common sense. Yeah. So being smart, being intelligent, there's a difference between intelligence, brilliance, and smartness. That they're different. You can be intelligent and not be smart. I've seen so many people that are intelligent, but they, they don't have common sense. <laughs> so that's why they don't care about your CGPA or which of your grade because they know that classroom intelligence is different from reality, it's different from real life. So they don't care about it. 
So the next on my list that your employers do not care about number two is the number of degrees you have. Hmm. Some people like to study. It's good to study. As I used to tell you, school is not a scam. University is not a scam. But in that view, instead of it to be attaining one degree from one degree to another, the masters just changing PhD doing this one. My they used to go and get experience because they don't care. Whether you have BSc, whether you have degree, whether you have this one, whether you have 10 degree, it's not make it any faster to employ her stats. Either we went to vocational school or school of ethic. Mm. I thought I used to tell you people that all of it I used to go and do critical masters in UK. Mm. Because at the end of the day, it's gonna shock you that somebody that did not even go to school will actually even get a job better and faster than you that you went to spend money in the boy. You can say my mouth is smelling. I've carried it though. Mm -hmm. So your employer does not care about the number of degrees you have. They don't care. So the next one, the third on my list that your employer does not care about is the school you studied. Oh, you see all those people that say I attended Yellow University, I attended Oxford. If, if you like, you should attend Paco Biscuit University. If you like, you should attend Inyan for Wabagi University. It's nobody's business. It is not, but I just want to have explained that classroom intelligence and be smartness is different from reality. So whether you went to Yale, whether you went to Yale, whether you went to Paco Biscuit, whether you went to anything, whether you went to anything, it's nobody's business. We don't care about this. And that's why I keep telling you people, before you go and spend that money. Then the first one on my list is the country you studied. This table, eh? are you people still sitting on the table? Are you there? Because most times people used to feel like Nigerian educational system is trash. Nigerian educational system is trash. My dear, your employer does not care about the country you study. So whether you have your masters in Canada, you have it in UK, you have it in Australia, you have it in Kenya, it is not bothers business. It is not going to make it easier for you to get a job. Faster than horse that we studied in Nigeria. And that's why I used to tell you people that before you go and sell your father's property and travel out, just know that that job that you want to apply to, me that have my Nigerian degree and experience, I will get the job before you, if I study in Nigeria. And that's why I used to tell people that education is good though, but that's why I use myself as an example. Education is good, but I will never go broke doing it. I would rather use the money to buy a week. To buy things that I can see with my eyes because education is in my head. Before somebody will know that I have common sense, how many talk did I want to talk? So, me, I like to invest in what I can see. If it's to buy more to a Lamborghini, when I pass, I mean, it's falling and I splash water on some. Ah, this guy's because you have fine car. Mm -hmm. Education is good to invest in yourself, but then reality has said that some people did not spend so much on education to get a very high paying job so the employer does not care about the country you studied and like i used to tell you people this table i think is the many one leg all of you will just fall down i've seen some people that did masters in uk and nigeria people say this guy have come again some people went to uk canada they went to do their masters and everything where did they end up nigeria i'm not looking that so why did you travel before Hmm? Why did you go and dodge them money? Why did you go and work as are you that the, the worst thing that can happen to you in this life is when you travel out and then you come back to Nigeria? That one it go as you say the life where they do you before you travel, that one they left because that one it's be as if your whole life is shattered. Hmm? Before you begin to arrange your life back, it's gonna take the grace of God. In fact, I see some of them now they've opened YouTube channel. Mm. So you know it's YouTube channel you want to open. So why did you go and spend money in UK for masters? Eh? Why? It's not better you just use that small money and just focus on YouTube, Latty baby. You would have blow before now. If I don't blow, but then you carry yourself, you go do masters. And now you not get a job. You ended to back in Nigeria. You are now opening YouTube channel. You are now. I beg you. It's what I say. I say, let me come and tell you people. But now, nobody will believe me because everybody is trying to to travel. <laughs> So your employers did not care about the country you study though, whether you study in Nigeria, whether you study in even in the North, they don't care. The next on my list is accreditation. Mm. This one is another one. In fact, it's even 13. I did not believe this one. Your employers did not care if your degree or your course is accredited or not. Oh, 
Whether he's not in accredited university, whether he knows it is nobody's business. You, they know they check. Your employer will not check your school. It's nobody's business. The only time that your accreditation is important is maybe when you want to do permanent residency, maybe you want to collect postgraduate call permits outside the country. Anything outside that. As long as you shall go to school, you have your transcript, you have your evidence, and you have the relevant clinical, it's not concerning about you. The rest of my list is your age. Hmm. Your plan is not your body age. Whether you are young, whether you are medium, whether you are old, whether you are your employer. Ha, I'm losing the line. They don't care about your what? Your age. So anything you want to achieve, if you feel like, oh, it's taking time, is doing clinical, you can always achieve anything and everything you want to be regardless of your age they don't care that's why he steps you take time so calm down don't rush don't rush because you can get the job anytime as long as you're fit for it as long as you're qualified for it they don't care about your age and that's why you should not add your age to your cv what's your age doing there kilo one bear it's nobody's business see this why this is gender this one is kind of bah, bah. depending on the job, but maybe jobs like maybe care job, maybe personal care job that they need a carer for a female. It's only care job so far that I know that it's kind of gender restricted, or maybe nanny job that they need a guy, or maybe teacher or this personal lesson teacher that they will be like they need female. Anything aside that, nobody cares about your gender. If you like be a mouthful, right? If you like be this thing, nobody cares. You can take up any job regardless of your gender but there are some jobs that females they have more um advantages of getting maybe for example in qatar all these gulf countries if you want to work as a nurse but it does not really mean it doesn't mean but it does not mean sha it does not mean so it's only all this care job that they know that you're working with females yeah in gulf countries like if you're a female if you're a male so it can be kind of a little difficult for you to get a job as a female, as a male. That's because you know it's a Muslim country. They will not allow a guy to see their nakedness. And then aside that, any job, engineering, or this one, or as long as you can do the job. Let's say this is marital status. Oh my goodness, this is another one that they don't care. Like, your family problem is none of their business. Whether you are married, whether you are single, whether you are divorced, whether you are entangled, whether you are having fling mates, whether you are having this one, it's the brother's business. They don't care about it. But they can ask you to interview, ah, are you married? Sometimes they used to determine me I was married, but it did not mean nobody cares. The next on my list is um, accent. Hmm. This one is kind of tricky. It could be yes or no. When I talk about accent, you know those accent that used to do spray spray that you cannot even hear what somebody knows. They don't care about it. So the only accent that they actually care about is your ability to speak real, speak and understand. We don't need to come out and say, oh, though some companies actually require, you know, for example, if you're working as a receptionist, as a front desk, and maybe you have to talk to all these top this thing. You know, why to be all these people that used to change my top from down? But normal jobs that actually require skill. Imagine now you want to recruit a nurse and you say, hey, because you don't know how to change tone, you never read it. You never read it. So they don't care about your accent. Your own is just your ability to speak for them to hear and understand you. But any um, country, any company that actually require you to have fine accents, if you maybe customer care or anything, if not like that, you just need to be able to speak well and for people to understand you so they don't care about your accent if it's under accent that you have said nobody tell you about they switch it see? switch it as long as you are audible you are understandable so next one this is religion your employer does not care about your religion whether you're a christian whether you're a muslim there's one time i saw a cv i was i think so many cv when she was saying the number of church she did the number of church programs she Okay, what are you? What are you a traditional worship God? Even if you're an atheist, like you don't believe God exists, it's nobody's business. Just get the job done. See, that's why this is ethnicity. Oh God, whether you're from anywhere, whether you're Nigeria, whether you're Canada, this one. Mm, let's just add it because we are trying to show that Black lives what matters, but somehow it matters you. But when they search, when they don't see. They will consider us but in real life it does not matter in real life it does not matter but in another real life it matters to some extent because we have anyone especially these uk people that's when they will come and tell you kinikan even uk after they employ when they see their british person is going they will fire you and put 
they are pretty she let's just say that it's not important in reality but in another reality and that's why i tell you once you know you're a black person if the wise if they are getting one year experience you can be getting 15 years i'm just saying like you try to you know so this one this is social status so this whether you are rich whether you are poor whether you are broke whether you are from the trenches nobody cares nobody cares whether you have nobody cares nobody cares so then some of this is children number of children you have since my mother's stuff whether you have children whether you, it's nobody's business just get the job done the next one this is physique that's what it's in. whether you are fine whether you're ugly whether you're this whether you're that it's nobody's business but then as an employer <laughs> How you working in my organization? You are not fine. No, ask you say no. Me, I care. If they don't care, me, I care. I will employ somebody that is not fine. I will attract customer. Yeah, you whining me. If I have a hospital, you know that people, all these rich people, they used to pay good money. They used to be sick because of fine, fine people. You do not know whether you are fine or anything does not matter. But me, it matters to me. I cannot employ somebody that is not fine. No, you have to be good looking and you have to smell good. Ah, me, it's part of it for me. So. If you know that you are not high, just this one is not body shaming things. It's not body shaming, but there are some people that they are not fine and they'll make it obvious that they are not fine. Hmm? If you know you are not fine, try to like package small. For example, maybe during your interview that you can just wear we can do small makeup and just look. Mm -hmm. So that when you tell but after giving you visa, you can go and show them that you are not fine. Mm -hmm. But people like us, we don't need makeup. Only on the place we are naturally. Just do the interview like that. ah show 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 why me in fact I'm too even fine for that company. This is not to say, but me I'm just saying if you know that you are not so fine like that like that, hmm? just do small makeup <laughs> because go if they are seeing somebody that is not fine, it can be a discouragement. Even you go and you tell fine in the bruju and the mass you 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 are not fine now now talk and pass. I see so many people that will show celebrities on that when you can see their picture now then will walk pass. Is you that can tell somebody that is not fine, that somebody is this, somebody is that. So if you know, say you know, fine. When it's time for your interview, just do touch up makeup small. Very weak, wear this thing. Look fine. They used to say, be comfortable in your skin and everything. Show yourself, be proud of king. But sometimes you cannot show yourself in something. So sometimes you just have to package it small. So, those are the things that your employer. Do not care about so i hope with these few points of mine that i've been able to captivate motivate elevate somebody how they that things you should focus on and things you should not focus on so guys in my next video i'm talking about things that your employer actually care about so all these things they don't care about it so guys as usual as always i wish you guys the best and everything the best of luck the best in everything best the best and everything best so guys thank you so much for watching and of course i'll see my next day thanks for watching i'm already losing the light until you shoot the next video you should take it in that <laughs>